sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill It's khaki. Today I would like to talk about something that may actually take you by surprise, may actually be a little controversial. How important is exercise in your weight loss journey as a bariatric patient? Let's talk about it. I know for all of us who have gone through this journey, we are, most of us I'd say, are so excited to be on the other end. We are feeling like, okay, I'm going to change everything in my life. I've had this surgery. I'm eating differently. I am going to hit the gym running. That's probably not the best idea. So let's talk about why. That first six months after surgery, your restriction is usually at the strongest. Your intake is usually at the lowest that it's ever going to be. You are probably getting in less than a thousand calories a day, maybe even six to eight hundred. And that's all you really can do for most of us, unless we eat things that are not on our plan. So we have all heard over the years from trainers, from exercise people, when you are working out, when you are lifting weights, what do you need to do? Increase your intake, bump up that protein. That's where protein shakes first were invented, where what they were first invented for was bodybuilders. Those of us who have decreased our intake via surgery, we can't get in enough calories to add that extra that we need to overcome that heavy level of physical activity, especially in those first months. So we tend to, I know I do, in the past, I've been very guilty of having all or nothing thinking. I can't tell you how many times I have, prior to surgery, eaten in a certain way on a certain plan like Weight Watchers or Low Carb or one of the hundreds of other things I tried. And then I would slip up and my mind would say, well, you've already screwed up. You might as well order a pizza. And you start out with that. I think one of the most detrimental things to us is thinking you have to do everything all of the time and be perfect. You, I have thought in the past, okay, I am going to eat perfect. I'm going to eat clean. I am going to hit the gym. I am going to drink all my water. And then if you don't do all of that, you feel like a failure. The reality is, especially in those early months, you've got a lot of things going on. Not getting the hydration that you need can be dangerous, especially in those first few months. Not after you get over that liquid diet in the first few weeks. It's a struggle to get in the bare minimum in food that you need, in protein that you need. So if you throw in going to the gym for a heavy workout, you're upping the ante on what you need. That's probably not a good idea in those first few months. You're setting yourself up for failure, I feel like. I think that in those first few months, we need to focus on nutrition. We need to focus on learning the new way to eat. Weight loss primarily comes from your food intake. It happens in the kitchen. It happens on your plate. It does not happen in the gym. We need another, another myth that I hear all the time is, I'm going to go to the gym and lift weights so I won't have loose skin. That's not true. You're going to maybe have more muscle. You're just going to have loose skin around it. 
it's not going to prevent loose skin. The loose skin, the skin stretching happened when we became obese. Toning muscle absolutely will help, but it's not going to prevent loose skin. So that is a big myth. So what I encourage my patients to do is that first six months, focus on nutrition. You're learning a whole new way of life. You're learning how to eat in a bariatric way to make sure that you get your nutrients. You need to focus on hydration. You do need physical activity, but you're going to find, I think, for most people, that if you really hit the gym in those first few months until you get your nutrition straightened out, you're going to be tired. You're going to be tired anyway as your body adjusts and you lose weight rapidly. You're going to be fatigued. The last thing that you need is your body saying, Oh, good Lord, I'm <laughs> I'm really working out. I need more calories, which then leads to increased hunger. You can't get in enough of those healthy foods, so what, what are you going to do? You're more likely to eat things that you probably don't need to. Those slider foods, they're going to satisfy those increased calories that you need due to a heavy workout. That's going to sabotage your weight loss. It's going to cause stalls. So what I tell my patients is, especially that first six months, focus, again, nutrition, hydration. Start doing some walking. Start doing some stretching. Start doing some yoga. Start those gentle exercises. Don't do the, you know, the cardio aerobic classes that you burn a lot of calories because you're not taking in the calories. You don't have the excess to burn. After that first six months, then maybe start adding some light weights or some classes, but still, don't go crazy at that point. Start gently adding it in because you also have an increased risk of injury. We, as obese people, tend to have very weak core muscles. That's why we, we just do. And throwing ourselves we're, we're excited. We're excited about the changes in our bodies. And sometimes we tend to overdo things in that excitement. Injuring yourself and not being able to do any phys physical activity is going to be counterproductive. The, what I like to see people do is for that first six months, very minimal physical activity. Just walk, just stretch. Six months to a year, start doing a little bit more. Add in a little bit of weights. Add in a little bit of aerobic classes. A little bit. At one year, you're probably ready to do what you want to. You're ready to hit that gym. You're ready for those cardio classes. You're ready for weightlifting. I would suggest get a trainer to kind of walk you through it and teach you proper form and work out a regimen with you that's customized if, you can, if, you, if that's within your budget. I know for myself, I started doing, uh, which I had done yoga before, but I started doing yoga. I started do walking on a regular basis for that first year, and that's really all the physical activity that I got. I worked on getting my body active 30 minutes a day, more days than not. At one year, I started doing more, and now I have discovered a love of Pilates a love of bar classes. I still do my yoga. I still do my walking, but I'm adding more physical activity now that I'm at goal. You feel great when you're physically active, without a doubt, but you don't want to sabotage your efforts. This is about getting healthier, and you don't want to do something that's going to interfere with that goal. I'd love to hear what you think, what your experience has been. What does your program recommend? I know my program kind of fit those guidelines. Recommended gentle exercise, physical movement, and to wait until you were further out before you really started doing a lot of, a lot of lifting and a lot of heavy physical activity. I would also love to hear suggestions for future videos. This was a video suggestion somebody had given. 
I would love to hear where you're at in your journey, any struggles that you're having. I hope everybody has a great week, and we will see you next Wednesday. Bye.